Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Yes, I know. I know. Look, it's a pandemic. Life is hard, but I'm trying. So let's get into this brand new video, okay? Also, I hope you're all doing great. You know, stay safe, healthy, and safe. So about a month ago, I asked my followers on Instagram to help me design a character. So using the story options, I asked for modern versus fantasy, knight versus witch, and human versus creature. And what won at the end was a modern knight who was a human. So as per usual, I started out uh, with very loose sketches trying to just find shapes and an overall idea which at the end I wanted someone who looked rad wearing like stylish clothes mixed with armor so I looked at a lot of references on pin interest of stylish clothes and then I looked up a lot of uh, fantasy styled armor so by the time I scribbled out this third image with the giant hammer I knew I was on the right track but I just needed one more design aspect and then it hit me out of nowhere, I should absolutely make the knight a skater. So after that, it just pretty much all came together. So I designed early on that I wanted the knight's head to be covered. And I lo as I locked down the skateboard design, I also wanted them to have an overall unicorn theme. Because, you know, knights, England, unicorns, unicorns are rad, makes total sense. So obviously the giant masher hammer thing and I swear I did know the name of it once upon a time is not a, a traditional knight weapon uh, which I believe would have been spikes and swords but like come on I couldn't resist a giant ass mashing hammer it's a lot of fun. Selfie sticks are very modern. I couldn't resist posing this knight, knight uh, skate knight, 
doing some mad kick, fl kick flips as they str live streamed their noble nightly deed, which I feel would be the very modern thing to do. detail that I put on this design was the skateboard illustration. Clearly as this night has a unicorn theme, there had to be like a corny unicorn against a full moon thing going on. I went with my usual limited uh, palette. I think the contrast of reds and greens really worked without making it feel very Christmassy. I think what it is is that the black colour helped neutralise that by being the bridge between those two colours. like that I've done back then is that I wish I hadn't made the hair green and I wish I went with a kind of different style with it but that is past Anthea's problem now. Current Anthea is just desperately trying to remember all the reasonings behind this design. Uh, 
overall I think this was a really fun design to make and it was something that was a little out of my comfort zone and not something I would have drawn if it weren't for my lovely Instagram followers. Do you think I should try more challenges in the future? If you do and you have any to recommend, you know, comment below and I'll totally love to try it out for a future video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Big thank you to all my patrons too as they make a lot of what I do possible. If you'd like to be a member of the fake crew vis-a-vis uh, -vis my Patreon, you should just check in the description below. They get a lot of insight to background stuff on my comic Fade. They get to see a lot of comics and illustrations before other people. And they also get to see insights to my scripting and my design ideas. Also, check out my webcomic Fade. It updates every Tuesday. So I will see you all in the next video. Wash your hands, stay safe, and bye! There were a night, she was a girl. Can I make any more obvious? I must stop singing the song because YouTube will get mad at me.